Hey, Craig here. So I just got my tooling plate from Saunders Machine Works, and I'm getting ready to open it up and put it on the mill. All right, let's uh, open it up and uh, see what it looks like. I've heard it's double box, so I should just be able to slice this open without damaging the plate. Oh, got a note from John saying thank you. Cool, thanks, John. And uh, got some stickers. Oh, cool. All right. And let's see. On the end here, I got uh, uh, the bolts and the T nuts for holding it down. And this is something that I got that was a little extra. It was like 17 bucks or something. Uh, dowel pins and bolts and stuff for fixturing. Ooh, that's pretty cool. And there it is. Ooh. Cool. Okay, so it has uh, six holes for bolting it down to the table. Um, two there, two there, and two there. And I guess the way this works is each hole has a uh, dowel pin hole and also threads down below so you can actually use every single hole for either a, a dowel pin or for uh, bolting down. So, very cool. Alright, well, I guess I need to get the, uh, the table cleaned off. Okay, I got it all cleaned up. I got my uh, bow shield sprayed on and kind of wiped down a little bit. Got all the T-nuts in place. The uh, the pallet, uh, the width of the pallet is uh, the same width as the table itself from here to here. So basically I just measured off the edge here in and just measured in. Put the nut, put all the nuts in approximately and then just took a tape measure and kind of lined it up with the dimensions off this edge and off this edge to give me a fairly accurate location for them. So now I'm going to get ready to uh, put it on. Now I'm going to be careful to uh, wipe this thing down on the back side. Make sure there's nothing on the back that's going to keep it from sitting flat. On here. Okay. All the bolts here. Okay, well that's certainly lined up pretty easy. Uh, okay, so to give you an idea on the size of this compared to the mill, looks like we have uh, I don't know, an inch and a half overhang on the front of the drip edge here. This actually covers the bolts for uh, this thing. So I won't be able to use that anymore. There's like a, I don't know, a half an inch overhang on the back. And uh, as I said, it's basically flush on either side. Alright, well the next thing to do is to tram it in. I guess I'm going to have to put pins in it. And tram it off the, the pins. Okay, so I found the approximate center of it, which is... Right about this line right here, put a little marky mark on it right there, and uh, I basically went out as far as I could with the travels of this mill out both ways here, and uh, put.
put uh, two of the short pins in there and uh, now I'm just going to use the dial test indicator on here to check these two points right here and uh, adjust the tooling plate until it's straight. Okay, I'm at about six, yeah, six thousandths of an inch. I basically went back and forth in the uh, X uh, until I got to the highest point. And uh, now I'm going to go over to this point and see where I'm at there. Okay, so I'm at about seven and a half thousandths over here, it looks like. So I just need to uh, move the plate just a hair. Uh, actually over that distance that's uh, it's actually pretty close but uh, I'll try and get as close as I can okay back over here I'm at about nearly six and a half thousandths so and I'm kind of splitting hairs here now but uh, I don't know I'll, I'll uh, go one more time and see if I can get it right on okay when I came back over here and double checked to make sure I was right in the middle of this uh, uh, dowel pin. It looks like I'm actually at it um, just under six and a half. It's it's basically right there, you know, within you know tenth. So I'm gonna call that good. I'll um, tighten it down and double check and make sure it hasn't moved. Right. Okay, I ended up with about a half a thou off between these two pins. I don't know, it's maybe twelve or thirteen inches apart. So I think that's good enough for for what I'm doing. So I took an ER20 collet with a uh, ER20 tool holder with a uh, half inch collet in it and I wrapped a little electrical tape around this, uh, around the marker and uh, tightened it up a little bit, just turned it a little bit just to make sure it's not way off. This is just kind of a rough marking on the outline. I know some people will uh, you know like uh, use uh, an engraving tool or something like that but I don't want any permanent marks left on this in case it gets moved or something like that so right, I'm just gonna go ahead and trace the uh, I'm just gonna use the uh, the jog wheel and uh, trace the outline on here of the working envelope right. okay as you can see I got the rough working envelope here of it. Now I can take that information and transfer that into my uh, CAD drawing so I can do all the uh, the CAD based off that and I'll know where to stick the vise and the pallet system and stuff on there. Uh, speaking of pallet systems it's tried, time to uh, put the uh, piercing on here and see how this works out with that so me uh, Put this on and okay well, I'm working on getting my uh, pallet system uh, bolted down here put two dowel pins in the front here for alignment using these two in the front uh, looks like the pallet is I don't know maybe a, a quarter of inch off using those but I never really go out to the further edge uh, out this way anyways, so I should be okay there The holes don't line up perfectly to be able to use all four of the uh, Pearson work holding uh, Clamps for this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a two on this side Hold this forward for alignment And then over here, I'm just going to use toe clamps the, the toe clamps that I got in this kit from, I don't know, a little machine shop a long time ago, the, uh, the smallest one, the lip, was uh, too thick. So I just put it on the grinder and ground that down a little bit so it'll fit in there all the way. So, so I'm going to put two in there. I had to grind. These are kind of actually kind of long for what I'm doing here because of this part right here so I had to grind this down a little bit so it would go down far enough in there uh, I just took maybe two threads off or something like that 
So I'm going to do that for the uh, for the other one over here. So I'll have uh, two toe clamps over here, and I should be uh, good to go. I'll double check the uh, the alignment over here with these dowel pins here, and see how it looks, and then I'll be ready to use this. I'm I've got to get this uh, pallet system mounted on here. Make sure that's working first, because that's the most critical critical thing for my business. It's Saturday now. Tomorrow's going to be kind of busy, so got to do that to make sure production happens on Monday. These bolts come with this uh, large rounded tip. I'm gonna focus on her. Uh, anyways, it comes with this large round tip like this, and when I'm trying to get the most threads into this fixture plate, it has a ten. It uh, it hits the bottom, keeps it from getting more threads in there. So I typically just grind that off. Um, actually, these things on a regular bench grinder, these things grind off within seconds. It's uh, really easy. So, so I'm actually shaving down the uh, the bolts for these here also, um, so they don't hit the uh, the table. Uh, that one's done. I'm working on this one right now. I mean, there may be other ways to do it. This with uh, longer bolts and. Uh, washers or something like that. I just decided to uh, to shave them down, but basically what I'm doing is I'm just uh, screwing it down to where it should stop hitting the thing and looking underneath to see how much is left over. I've got maybe uh, one more thread left to do. So, okay, I got it all bolted down and uh, using the alignment pins over here to place this I double checked over here because this is actually the side that I actually uh, tram it on because I can't tram this front side because of my because it's outside the uh, the limits or at least used to be but anyway so yeah from about from here to here I'm about a thousandths off on my original tram using the front so um, I think that's that's pretty good for me. As far as the air switch goes, I was able to use the uh, the existing bolt. Uh, I didn't have to chop it down or anything because I'm actually over the uh, the coolant trough or whatever you call it on this side, so there's no table to, for it to interfere. Um, also, just so you know, the way this is lined up, uh, there are actually a series of holes that as you can see there there's a series of holes that one that one and that one there are a series of holes that are pretty much lined up with the uh, the slots on the table uh, one may be a hair off okay well i just realized that uh, i can't use these bolts right here because it sticks up too high and the pallet won't go on so I'm taking these out and I'm using uh, some of the bolts that came with the uh, the extras kit and uh, so I'm trimming those down and putting a uh, stainless steel washer on there so did one just need to do one more and I should be uh, all set to put the uh, the pallet on okay well that's probably about as far as I'm gonna get with it uh, this weekend I've got to work tonight uh, tomorrow I'm spending with the family Sunday and uh, so in the next video, I'm probably going to be going over uh, removing this and then putting in the, uh, the Tormach vise. And then maybe also getting into the um, fixture plate system that I'm going to use directly onto this. Or that may be on a, a different video, I'm not sure. But anyways, there's going to be probably two or three videos uh, on this, on setting this up. So... Alright, well, well, if you uh, like this video, I'd appreciate the thumbs up. Uh, if you have any comments or if you saw that, you know, maybe I did something that I, uh, you have a better way to do what I had done or you have any suggestions, I'd really appreciate the, uh, the comments. And uh, if you like to subscribe, there should be a subscribe button up there and some other videos you might like to watch. Alright, thanks.